Welcome to DIY Nautical Dream with Priscilla and Rich. Together, we're taking this 1990 Endeavor 52. She was neglected when we bought her, sitting on the hard for about eight years, rotting away with no attention, no maintenance. We're going to take this boat and try to bring her back to her former glory. And one day, she'll be a thing of beauty again, sailing around the world to tropical destinations and beyond. But first, we need to get her fixed up to a point where we can live aboard and continue on with some of the major repairs waiting ahead of us. So if you like this sort of thing, come on in and see what's in store in this week's video update. Okay, maybe that was a little over the top. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get our next video started. Welcome back to another exciting and thrill-filled adventure with DIY Nautical Dream. Hi guys, welcome back. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. And please watch our video from the very beginning Perfect! Oh, wow! Welcome back. back. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Rich. Together, Together we, we make DIY Nautical, Nautical Dream. Dream. All right, so what we got going on this week, honey? Oh my gosh, we're going to go ahead and use some more of that spray foam insulation. This time we're going to do it up around the overhead cavity where the large hatch frame is. There's a bit of space up above that. And we want to insulate that area because we notice a lot of condensation forming up in there on the cold mornings and things like that. It has a lot of cold air in that space. So we feel like this is another opportunity to prevent condensation from forming and just overall insulating the boat from temperature extremes, cold versus warm. Mm -hmm. And on the plus side, added benefit, adds a little bit more flotation to the boat should this boat ever be in a situation where we need to maintain some sort of buoyancy. But yeah, so we're going to do that. It's going to be another big messy job, but I think the benefits will outweigh, outweigh the risk of making a mess. And we will also begin to staple some of the overhead vinyl. Really? Yep. We get to staple some vinyl? Man, Back we've been... in place. Wow, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. That means things are really beginning to come together, mm -hmm. which is a big plus. Wow, yep. that will be nice. If we can mm -hmm. get some of that started, I'll be happy with that. That means that main <laughs> salon is almost done. Well, Good job, quite, honey. Not quite almost done. But well, at least, at least we can close the vinyl. Oh yeah, closing the vinyl is a big step. And we're working closer to that point where we're going to be begin making smaller messes in the main salon. So that's a big deal because that means less mess. That means we can start cleaning up some of this area and Getting rid of some of the dust that's in here. Hopefully. Yeah, fingers crossed. So. All right. So, anyway, stay tuned, guys. We're going to show you your update this week's video. Yep. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. So, what we're going to do today, and I may end up regretting this decision, but we're going to go forward with it anyways. And I want to spray this cavity here, this open area. I want to spray it with uh, expanding foam insulation. Now, I don't want to jam a whole bunch in there. I just want to get enough in there that it can fill up this air cavity here. It's just something I've been wanting to try, so we're going to give it a try.
maybe that's enough. It's hard to tell with this stuff how much is enough, but you kind of have to just let it expand. We'll let that sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll monitor it and come by and scrape it off so that it doesn't start dripping. So we'll see how that turns out. So that's what we have going on so far. All we're trying to do is insulate that cavity to stop condensation from forming around this area because moisture will form around there due to the uh, difference in temperature. This is not an insulated core in this section. All right, we'll see how that turns out. All right, so this is a few minutes into it now. I've gone by and scraped some of it off. Some of it was oozing out. And that was one full can we used on there. So I think we're going to be all right. Definitely doing what we wanted to do. We just want to fill up that cavity to prevent any temperature differential between the deck and the inside of the boat. If this goes well and we like the result of it, we're going to do it on all the overhead hatch cutout frames. So we'll see how it turns out and we'll find out if we like this or not. And if we don't like it, we're kind of at a stage right now where we can pull the whole, we could pull this whole panel back down if we wanted to and just scrape it off. But I think we're going to be happy with the result. We'll probably just leave it and like it. And then we'll probably end up doing that on the rest of them. So we'll see how this turns out. So far, we're happy with it. It's still going to ooze out more here in about the next 15, 20 minutes, and then it should start to harden up. And at this point, we prefer not to scrape any more off and just let it harden up, and then we'll cut the rest off after it's hardened. So like right in this area here, we'll want to flush that, but we'll wait till it's solid. But yeah, it's filling in nicely. So that's good. All right, we'll check back in a little bit, see the final result. All right, so we're back. The foam insulation up here is finally set up. It's expanded as far as it's going to go. It's hardened up. It's ready for trim. Let's take a look and see how this turned out. Let us know what you guys think. I like it. I think this is definitely the way to, have to go. I don't feel any more drafty cold air up here. No more condensation, no more moisture drips. They're going on back here. None of that. It's not even drafty up here at all now. It's got a lot of ugly trimming left to do up ahead of us. But that's just the way it goes. But I think this is a good idea. I think this was the right thing to do. Let us know in the comments if this is something you would or would not have done in this case. If your answer is no, you would not have done the foam insulation up here, let us know why. Because we're considering doing it on the rest of the hatches as we go forward. It eliminates a lot of the cold air, the pockets for condensation to form. One less area that's going to have moisture in it, up in the overhead especially. So let us know your thoughts. And if you wouldn't have done it, please comment down below. Very interested to know what your reasoning is. And maybe we should apply that to our decision going forward. So we're just looking for ideas. And if you do think it's something you would have done, great. Let us know as well. We'd love to hear from you. I always like to have some support in our decisions. Everything we're doing here is a first time only basis. It's just really nice to know if we're doing the right thing. Don't do as we do. Do what you think is best for your boat. Each situation is different. And we're just trying something and... It may or may not work, so we'll see. How, we'll let you guys know how it goes over the long haul, but we're giving it a try. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and trim some of this off, and let's see how this goes. If I can use a knife, that would be great. Otherwise, we're going to use a multi-tool, but I'm trying to keep the mess down to a minimum. Seems like this is working out all right. Let's see how it works so far. So it's coming off. Coming off in decent sized pieces. Not 
bad, not too messy. And I'm tapering inward just like this slightly at an angle that way at the top up here, just in case I think the wood trim has to sit up in there. We may have to trim more of this later, but we just want to get a good start on it. Might need a little fine tuning. does a pretty good job. That's kind of what we're looking for right there. All right, another big snack. So it's coming off pretty good. Making a little bit of a mess, but not as much as I thought we would be. So far, the mess I was fearing, we have not made yet. But don't worry, we got time. So. We got time to make a mess still. All right, we're gonna do this edge now. And then that should be it. Okay, so you just be able to pop it away all oh, this good for now. Okay. All right. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got here. See how it turned out. Alright, that turned out pretty decent. That's what we're looking for. Nothing too fancy. But now we have a nice insulated cavity up and around here. And there's no draft or nothing. So that's going to be really good in the cold weather stuff like that so that's what we're looking for we just have a little bit of cleanup here and there and this little insulation job will be complete all right so i think we're happy we did it i don't think we have any regrets so okay we're gonna do one of our favorite jobs again and do you know what that is? That's going to be closing up the vinyl. So we need to staple. We need to staple this line here. We're not going to close the vinyl completely. I mainly just want to get this reattached right here. And then we'll see where we're going from there. So let's go ahead and get this started. If you're ever using the heat gun to heat up the vinyl, you must keep it moving quickly. All right, let's see how that does. That's what we wanted, right on the edge. Kind of tricky, you gotta make, make the right position here. A little more heat gun action. is kind of a little bit of a struggle here. Yeah. 
Okay, more heat gun. we got there okay so that's cool man it is rocking and rolling today all right so we got that Not too bad put a couple more staples in to help carry the load Oops, we don't want that one there. I can tell you that right now. So let's get it out. We don't want that one. Too much, it pulls down too much in that area. And there's a step that piece of plywood that's in here ends right here and then there's a step down we probably should have shimmed this down just a little bit right here but anyways as long as we leave it like that we won't be able to see it so all right i think we're good on that all right let's take a look Oh yeah, we're good on that action. Perfect! Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. We really appreciate it. guys yeah so the spray foam insulation i think that turned out pretty good good idea uh it didn't make too much of a mess it wasn't that hectic and uh, we're getting better with working with that stuff mm -hmm. not all the cans work the way we'd like them to but all in all it's still not very expensive mm -hmm. and uh, we're happy with the outcome so and we caused a small section of the vinyl yep a little cool. bit of progress hey, some's better than none at least we're on the right path and we know that we're going to be making some progress in that area Next time we come back to the boat, we should be able to close more of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's getting there. Mostly, we wanted to get it started closing yeah. the vinyl. Right, we want to get on that point to start closing the vinyl because that means we're starting to wrap this section up. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of steps ahead of us, a lot of small, tedious... But this part's almost done. Yeah, that part, at least getting to that point, is almost done. But then we'll have to be putting the trim in and we'll have to be putting the new light fixtures in and on and on. But that's the path we want to be on. So at some point, this is going to look good and beautiful again. So, All right. So thanks for watching, guys. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Right down here somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. And like I always ask, please watch our video from the very beginning up until the end. Yep. We really appreciate that. And 
We'd like to hear your comments. We always like it when people comment on what we're doing, ask questions, tell us we're doing it completely wrong, whatever. We just want to hear from you guys and let us know what you think we're doing, if we're, we could do other things, suggest an idea, things like that. We really appreciate it. And we'd just like to say thank you to all of our longtime subscribers, all of our new subscribers, and people who've been with us for a little while. We really appreciate that. And if you would like to support the channel financially, we could use a couple of patrons. Appreciate any and all support. And if you don't want to support us financially, or if you cannot, we just, just watch our video. Yeah, watch our video. We'll let those commercials play. Uh -huh. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. That all helps us get our channel, our videos promoted. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. See you next week. Yep, see ya. Bye. Mm. Oh, so sweet. Oh, no, dang it. Did we hit subscribe, like, comment down below? All right. That's going in the outtakes. Whoa. Yep. Dang, if I only hit record. Man. <laughs> I think you did. Okay. <laughs>